Hello everyone and welcome back to Doki Doki Blue Skies Part 2. Today I'm feeling pretty damn good, so, you know, let's just get right into it. Oh wait, 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 before we start, uh, in the last video, somebody actually wrote a comment saying that I should probably disable this. Sensor nudity. Yes, because apparently there's nudity in this game. Because of course there is, right? So yeah, I should probably disable that for when that comes up. If it comes up, let's hope, you know, nothing really bad happens. Wait, I don't, I don't want to have another Natsuki and chill moment. Please, please. As long as it's nothing like that, I can live. But if it's anything like that, oh my god. Anyway, in the last video, if you haven't watched it, please do go and watch it. But... If you really don't want to, whatever, I can explain. Basically, we were just here and we saw Sayuri reading something. But what was it she was reading? Let's just see what it is. Looking up, I spot Sayuri reading something. Might as well see what she's up to. Standing up with a stretch, I make my way over and take a seat next to her. Hey, how's it going, Sayuri? What are you reading? As I sit down, I notice that she looks quite content. Nothing much, just reading some stuff for a school project. What about you? You seemed really into your book. Oh yeah, it was a good read, at least as far as I can tell right now. I can't help but wish I sounded a little more enthusiastic. That's great! So, how are you liking the club? You're not bored, are you? She looks a little worried, her cheerful persona faltering for a moment. Where did that question come from? It's a bit too early to tell how I really am feeling about the club. Of course not, Sayuri! Sure, I haven't been here for long, but I've enjoyed meeting everyone. They've opened my eyes to new stuff. I've never been huge on reading, but I'm confident the literature club could change that. Well, I'm glad to hear that you're involved. You don't want to join a club that you have no interest in, right? I know what you mean. I think reading will grow on me in time. Actually, do you mind if I sit with you and read? She looks at me, clearly surprised. I don't think she was expecting me to sit next to her, but nonetheless, she seems happy. Her smile is infectious, lifting my own spirits too. That would be great, Preston! <laughs> we read for a while, which turns into talking fairly quickly, our conversations being a continuation of our chat from the walk to school. I haven't felt this content for as long as I can remember. The good mood reflects on her as well, given that she seemed very uplifted and bubbly. I don't know what it is about her that makes me so... at ease. Wow! We've been talking for a bit, haven't we? Man, I didn't even realize the time. <laughs> I guess we have been talking for a while. I can see why you come to the literature club so much. There really is a welcome, at easy vibe here. It must be a nice change of pace after how hectic the school day can be. I was hoping you'd say that, Preston. It really is, and I'm grateful for the others as well. They really help make the club the way it is. I can't help but notice that Natsuki and Yuri seem to be very... different, though. Do they argue much? She looks a little downcast at my question. Sometimes, yes, but thankfully it isn't often. I can sense this isn't a topic she likes discussing. Well, that's only normal. I guess Monica seems like a great president though. She must be very proud of this club. Just then, Monica gets up from the desk she was sitting at and faces the classroom confidently. Speak of the devil. Okay everyone, I hope we're all having a good time so far. There's a good moment of silence, but during which everyone seems to be glancing at me. Do they want me to respond? I'm honestly having a great time. Thanks for the warm welcome, everyone. Well, it's great to hear that. And as it turns out, Natsuki pays some cupcakes for the club, too. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was just about to announce it. So let me go get them. Oh, hell yeah. Cupcakes from Natsuki? Let's fucking go. Let's go sit over there, Preston. It looks like there's room at those desks for all of us. I do chilly. I do totally follow Sayuri over to where the rest of the girls have pulled a couple of desks together to form a table. How about I make some tea as well? Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling a bit awkward, I opt to take a seat next to Sayuri. If the conversation starts to die out, I can always rely on her to save me. Meanwhile, Natsuki proudly marches back to the table. Tray in hand. Okay, we're about to see some cupcakes. Okay, are you ready? I am. But you're not gonna show like any pictures, are you? Ta-da! What? Yeah, there's no pictures. Oh my god, there are pictures! <laughs> That's okay, lifts the foil of the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. That is cute. That is really cute. I'm not even gonna lie. The whiskers are drawn with icing and the little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. 
<laughs> well, you know, just hurry up and take one. Seiru grabs one first, then Monica follow. And then I follow, I can, I can word guys. <laughs> it's delicious. Seiru talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. And Suki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. Don't mind the fact that I just skipped it. I, I don't know why I skipped it. Uh, what did she say? The icing is sweet and full of flavor. If she made it all by herself, that's seriously impressive. Yeah, it is. It practically tastes professional down to me. But then again, it's not like I have the most discerning taste palette. These cupcakes are amazing. Thank you, Natsuki. <laughs> yeah, you better thank me. Because this took hard work to do. Yeah, it really seems like it. Did you make it by yourself or did your parents help you? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Are you saying I couldn't have done it by myself? Uh, no. It's just that it seems professionally made. So I was wondering if, wondering if an actual baker helped you. I wish my dad was a baker. But just because I don't bake for money, it doesn't mean it can't be good. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. I just like a cookie myself, so I'm... Wow, by your good cooking. I guess I should count myself lucky that I got to try your cupcakes today, eh? Uh-huh. It's not every day that I have time to bake. So be thankful. The expression on Atsuki's face practically says, Bow down before me, peasant. Aha! Are you expecting Preston to prostrate himself before you? <laughs> Looks like Monica had the same thought. Ooh! How do you make that sound? Woo! <laughs> what? You can't blame Natsuki for bragging a little, though. <laughs> I would too if I made these. Yeah, exactly. Natsuki smiles gratefully at Sayuri's save. Meanwhile, Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us, before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess? <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated, Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, th that's not a... Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know... <laughs> Don't worry about it, I believe you. Tea and reading might not be a common pastime for me, but I can at least appreciate it. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. I'm happy that you l look like you're enjoying yourself, Preston. As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Oh, that reminds me, I've actually been meaning to ask you something, Monica. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know... To be honest, I can't stand off the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy. Make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Gary also nods in agreement. Then, I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club yet. But I guess it must be hard to start a new club, since everyone's probably settled into their own activities already. You could put it that way. It can be hard to get people invested in things that are brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention. Like literature. You have to work to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the cultural festival that much more important. Speaking of school events, I don't think I saw your club at the club fair at the beginning of the year. Ah, that's because I hadn't started it yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> guess that explains why you don't have many members yet. Yeah, we missed that opportunity to join first year, so I hadn't found clubs yet. It's a lot harder to advertise on a person-by-person -person basis. And like you said, a lot of people already have other extracurriculars by now. But even so, I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah, we'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard to find just these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their levels of enthusiasm about literature. By the way, I know that everyone here likes reading, but do you guys write as well? Actually, we haven't really done any writing together, funnily enough. Do you guys just read and discuss books then? 
Uh, you could say that. Sounds more like a normal book club than a literature club. Huh. To be honest, I was kind of expecting y'all to do the stuff like write poetry together. At the word poetry, Natsuki jolts back a bit. Eh? Uh, do you not like poetry, Natsuki? Well, uh, I, I don't really have an opinion on it, I, I guess. Oh, really? With a sly smile, Monica gets up, rummages for a book bag, and returns with a loose notebook, page in her hands. I happen to have here a poem called... Hey, hey, where'd you get that? Natsuki springs up and snatches the paper out of Monica's grasp. Don't worry, I didn't steal it from your bag or anything. You dropped it on the way out the other day. I was going to return it, but I couldn't help teasing you a bit before I did that. Well, I'd appreciate it if you kept your nosy nose out of my private work. <laughs> Dali noted, and sorry, I just couldn't help glancing over your poem when I picked it up. Your writing style is really cute, Natsuki. Eh? Your cupcakes. Your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Siri siddles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Hey, there's nothing to be ashamed of, you know. Being cute is... Alright. It's lovely. You're so cute. Natsuki is very cute. It is true. So you do write your own poems, Natsuki. Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I just think that's pretty neat. Why don't you share them with the club sometime? Not if everyone's just gonna call them cute. Like Sayori said, there's nothing wrong with being cute, you know? Ugh, you wouldn't get it. There's nothing worse than trying to get honest feedback from someone and just having them say it's cute. Scorn drifts from the word cute. Ah, uh, I guess I didn't think of it that way? Yeah, no one does. It's super annoying, you know. Actually, I believe I understand how Natsuki feels. Natsuki looks surprised at Yuri's sudden interjection. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. And when that's all dismissed with a single remark... Well... Suffice to say, it can greatly discourage you from putting your work out there again. It sounds like both you and Atsuki have writing experiences in common, Yuri. Maybe. Um, although I didn't mean to speak for Atsuki... Jeez, it's fine, I pretty much agree with what you said, son. A brief moment of silence falls upon us as we all reflect on the conversation. Hmm, this just gave me an idea, everyone. We all look quizzily at Monica, who smiles knowingly back at us. If we have members who are looking for legitimate criticism of their poetry, how about we do that here? I'm sure we can all trust each other to be respectful, and I think it'd be a fun activity for us. Uh, um, I don't know if I feel comfortable sharing my old poetry. I didn't write it to be read by the public, so... Y yeah, same here. That's fine. We can all just go home and write new poetry to bring tomorrow. I was going to suggest that anyway, so I don't think the rest of us have poetry ready to share yet. Um, yeah, that sounds awesome! I think learning about poetry would be really fun! <laughs> hmm, and now that we have a new member, I think it will really help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Preston? Yeah, sure. Monica smiles warmly at me once again. The literature club has been very welcoming so far, at least after the initial introductions were made. And although I'll have to start writing poems, it seems like a fair price to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. I had my doubts at first, but given how friendly and welcoming these girls are, I don't really see any reason why I shouldn't join the literature club. Yep, I'll be looking forward to becoming better friends with you all. Then, that makes it official! Welcome to the literature club. Thank you, Monica. Yes, I'm so happy you're joining us! So you wraps your arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, and thanks for playing along. <laughs> she whispers this last remark in my ear. So she was aware that I'd never agreed to join in the beginning. God damn it, Sayori. Sly. That sneaky girl indeed. So goddamn sneaky. God damn it. When did I say in the beginning that I was gonna join? I didn't say that. Although Sayori is the most enthusiastic, all of the girls' eyes are lit up in happiness. I would have been super pissed if you just left after eating my cupcakes. I'm very glad that you're staying as well. Okay, Ron. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Don't forget tonight's assignment. 
write a poem to bring to the next meeting so that we can hold discussions. Monica looks over at me once more. Preston, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress Monica with my mediocre reading and writing skills? <laughs> no? 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 Something tells me no! Jeez, I can only feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Oh well, it's not like Monica's going to be harsh as an actual literature teacher though. Right? Meanwhile, the others continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Sayuri! Since we're already here, do you wanna walk home together? Given that she introduced me to all these amazing people, it's the least I could do for her. Sure, let's head home. With that, the two of us wave goodbye to the others and make our way home. On the way back, we discuss the events of the day, focusing particularly on each club member. As we do so, my mind wanders between them all. Sayori. Natsuki. Yuri. And Monica. I'm excited to hang out with everyone from now on. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of them. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna try to go Sayori route. If that wasn't clear enough by the fact that anytime anyone asks me who my favorite waifu from DDLC is, I always say Sayori. I mean, if I really enjoy this mod, I might try the other ones as well. Though I've heard it's really long. Like, really long. Like, dumb long. Like, I've seen some YouTubers make like... 40 episodes, like 20 to 40 minutes long, on just one doki. I don't know how that happens. Like, how long is this mod? What the fuck? <laughs> but it, it's a good mod. I, I, I'm enjoying it so far. Alright. I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh, okay, that's a nice animation. That's pretty cool. That's nice. Is that like animation and manic? Animatic. Animatic? What would you call this? I edit. Yes, editing. Wow, amazing guys, we did this. No, wait. Oh, we're actually doing this? I don't think I've seen any mod that actually uses this. Like, within its mod, because it's always like, going other paths. But actually that does make sense, since this is technically just normal DDLC, if none of the horror aspects happen, basically. <laughs> okay, so, as I said, I want to go Sayori. So, Sayori. Oh, it's kind of hard. Sticky. That's Kitty. Question. No, that's her as well. I, I, oh, that's kind of heartbeats and not tragedy. Yeah, <laughs> tragedy. Hell yeah. Um. Who? Uh, childhood. Yeah, obviously. Um. Okay. Uh. Love. Mhm. Mm email. I don't know who would be emailed. I think Natsuki would be emailed, right? Let's see, comfort, comfort, yeah, that's Sayori as well. Ooh. Boop, no. Uh. Death, yeah, death. <laughs> Just, that's how it works. Um. Let's see. Bed? Yeah, bed, of course. Uh, pout? Oh, what am I saying? No, of course that's not spooky, I'm dumb, oh my god. Um, fun? Yes, fun. <laughs> Um, let's see, let's see, misfortune, yeah, sure, um, unstable, no, that's her, what am I saying, of course that's her, fester, promise, disown, games, unending, silly, love, love, yeah, because I love Sayori, so of course love, um, adventure, yeah, lazy, <laughs> Um, tears, yeah, it's a man, kind of sad, you know, <laughs> but I think I've already done more than 10, but I'm gonna try doing more, awesome, yeah, awesome, um, ribbon, wait, what, but she has a red ribbon, wait, that doesn't make, why does, she... wait, am I dumb, is that not a ribbon, what is that, what is that called then, isn't that a red ribbon, whatever, um, Spice, grief, yeah. <laughs> Joy, and one more, last one. Who? what's the last one? Uh, last one, clouds. Ah, oh, it's so wrong, of course. <laughs> of course I got it wrong. Preston, fancy meeting you here. Yeah, apparently I just teleported to the classroom. Of course I did. You know, I just... I just do that, you know? <laughs> just average me. <laughs> yeah, what a coincidence, huh? Seriously speaking, though, I'm happy to see you back here. 
I would have been disappointed if you ran away on us. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't ever do that. I would never just run away. Unless. I mean, I'm gonna run away if something bad happens. Please, please. Sayori, chill out, okay? I've heard there's bad endings in this, which... I I swear to God if I get a bad ending. I don't, I don't know. Hey, I enjoyed myself last time, so why wouldn't I come back? True enough. <laughs> Feel free to make yourself at home before we start our... Start on our club activities. Thanks, will do. Well, I'm back at the literature club, and that's exactly where I'm gonna end today's video. I don't know if th this video is almost certainly a bit shorter, but new videos and episodes are gonna keep coming out, and I might try, okay, to if we can get to a point where I'm making like a lot of these, maybe we can do double upload in a week of these. What do you think? Comment below. But yeah, I'm just gonna end it right here. Honestly, been a great episode. I I've enjoyed this so far. So, so if you're watching this like, in the future, then you can go and watch the next episode. But if you're watching this as it's airing, then give it a week and you'll have another one. Or probably. I'm actually, I want to do a lot of other things as well, but that's what I, I might begin doing double uploads. We'll see. If possible. Otherwise, weekly uploads and I still enjoy it. So thank you all so much and goodbye. <laughs>